go into the second tool under tools tab block tool after all lines have been created the floor plan is ready we would like to add the heights of different elements such as floor ceiling window sills and also other symbols not only the height symbols for doing that we will have to go to the block tool and there uh, there is already a standard or a predefined template with different blocks uh, once one is chosen that also has attributes we can select which attributes we would like to add we can add between x y and z uh, values as attribute of the block and then we only need to click on insert and pick 3d points for determining or for transferring this kind of information um, multiple floor plans have been created that are also including the floor and the ceiling so that we can pick those points exactly on the floor or on the ceiling. So once we clicked on um, the points for each room, you, um, the customer or the user can see that the blocks have been created with the um, attributes as well, in this case the Z coordinate. We'll do the same for the ceiling, choosing another type of block with another symbol, but again with the Z attribute, click on insert, switch to the ceiling layout, to the ceiling floor plan, and then pick points in each room you would like to add to such a block. Again, we added blocks with a, a height of the ceiling for each room. This can be then manually um, edited, such as moving, rotating or translating. There is also a specific tool for that in the block tool itself. Uh, but before going to that, we would like to add some blocks that are actually aligned to a line. Um, in order to do that, I we are going to open a, a panorama view where there are multiple windows as you can see and we want to add the height of the windowsill. For doing that, we are going to start again the block tool. Choose which block we want to add and under object snap, click on perpendicular. Once that op option is, has been chosen, we is the same workflow, pick 3D points on the windowsill and the blocks will be inserted and they will also be aligned to the closest line um, from the pick point. The line or the distance between the pick point and the line doesn't have to be bigger than the tolerance that was specified in settings when inserting or when choosing this uh, this option object snap the second option is to manually move rotate or scale blocks after creation so instead of creating the block exactly in the point that we've picked uh, picked it the first time we would need to click on the second point so here maybe with uh, the example of door heights we want to specify the door height, but since there are other elements in there, such as lines or maybe other annotations, we would like this text to be a bit moved. So with a second click, we can specify the location where it actually should be um, inserted. The second option is to move and rotate. For doing that, when clicking on manually we have to select move and rotate then with the first click we are transferring the height information second click we can move it specify another position and with the third click we can rotate it 
and the third option is also to scale it. So again, block under manual insertion options, choose also scale. First click will transfer the height information, second we can move it, specify another position. With the third point, with the third click, we're, we can um, rotate it, and with the fourth, in this case, we can scale it. If we only want to rotate it or move it or, or scale it, depending how many options we have with the second click, so the, the order of the clicks will change depending which one we, we change, but it's always the order in which they are, um, they are written in the tool.